Hey, this is Derek J, everyone. Uh, it's about five or ten minutes since I made the last call because, you know, I've got stuff to do in the kitchen, but we're on a break right now, so um, I've, I want to call back to the Keene Police Department and at least find out who was is working in investigations, who was the person who hung up on me, so uh, let's do it. I mean, I have a feeling it's Michael Goodchild because that's whose voicemail I got directed to, but I can't know for sure until I ask someone on the record. You have reached the non-working number. Announcement 14. Switch to 8-5. You have reached the non-working number. Announcement 14. Switch to 8-5. Okay, so that just said I have reached a non-working number. Something is really screwy. Something is going on over at the Keene Police Department. I can't figure this out. What the what in the world is going on? Emergency. Press zero now. There we go. That worked that time. We're 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. Wait while I transfer your call. Can I help you? Hi there, I'm sorry to bother you again. This is Derek J, and of course I'm still recording. I I'm really just looking to know who's working in investigations today. Uh, Detective Goodfellow's over there. Okay, thank you very much. I mean, I, I, mean, I know he's on duty, Derek. I don't know if he's in at this moment as we speak, but I know he's on duty because he has transferred a call to me today, so... Okay, well I, I appreciate your help, and may I ask your name, please? Margo. Margo, thank you so much for all of your help today. I really appreciate um, you know you directing my calls and, and answering my questions. I, I appreciate that, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. This is the first time I talked to you, though. There's four of us in here, Derek. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> just, you know, it's only the only time I've talked with you today. Oh, I see. okay. I see. Well, would okay. you please thank uh, your coworkers? Everyone has been very, very nice. Uh, it's just I, ha I've had a lot of difficulty reaching the investigations department, and I'm, I'm trying to find a definitive answer regarding my concealed carry license. I still haven't heard back on it, and it's been a month. Um, I've been leaving messages, and uh, I'm not getting any answers, so I'm hoping that if Mr. Goodchild is in, that he will return my call. Do you want me to put you on a supervisor's voicemail or something? Yeah, d d does he have a supervisor on duty? Uh, we have Sergeant Short on duty. Okay, yeah, that would be great. I would be happy to speak with Jason. Thank you. Okay, hold on. All right. I'm going to back up so that I can make sure I'm getting good audio. Hi. Okay. Do I have you? Yes, I, I'm. This is okay. Derek, and I'm still audio and video recording. Okay. Sorry, this short is at his desk. I'm going to transfer you right down there. Thank Hold you on. so much, Margo. Have a great day. You too. Hi, Jason. This is Derek J. calling. I want you to know I'm audio and video recording for my records. I am calling... How are you, how are, how are you video recording me? Uh, well, I guess I'm not recording you in your office. I'm recording me on the phone. Oh, okay. If you feel you need to do that, go ahead. Yeah, it, it works out better for YouTube. So, I'm calling in regards to my concealed carry license. Um, I applied for it about a month ago, and I haven't right. heard back. And when I called uh, Mr. Goodchild today, he hung up on me. Okay. I am only, I don't know the circumstances, but you were denied the one time, yes? 
yeah, before it was uh, part of my bail conditions, but now I've, I've been to jail, I'm out of jail, I got my bail money back, so bail conditions are no more. So right. that and shouldn't be the reason. And I'm just, you know, I don't know, I'd have to go see him because I'm not in charge of investigations, but if you remember, what I, when we were on video the last time, I said that you were also a known user of cannabis. But that's, that's inaccurate, in, in fact, because I was a drug possessor, and the law makes a distinction between a drug user and a drug possessor. Well, I guess that would be an argument that you would have to take up in uh, a circuit court to appeal your uh, not, not getting your pistol permit. But there, there is case law to support that. I mean, there is a, a uh, I, law I definitive I, uh, difference. I used to do the applications for pistol permits. I, I know all of how they do it. Well, Are Jason... Are you a legal resident of New Hampshire? No, I'm, I'm not trying to play games here. I'm just saying... No, I'm not saying a Derek. What is your Are question? Are you a resident of New Hampshire? Or Are you a Pennsylvania resident, though? I, I am... I don't know exactly how to answer that question because I know that there are legal implications to each, so uh, I right. refrain from answering right. that today. But I do have a concealed carry license that I'd, I would like to hear the definitive answer on, and I was told I'm supposed right. to call to get that answer. Now, who am I supposed you, to speak with about that? If you are not a New Hampshire resident, which means you don't have a New Hampshire address or license, or you have a Pennsylvania permanent address, um, then you would have to go to the state police but to that's, apply for But that's not, that's not the issue right now. The issue is well, I, I haven't heard back on whether or not I was uh, denied, and if I have been denied, what is the reason? That has to be in writing and in my hands within 14 right. days. Isn't that have, correct? Is your address on your pistol permit something that they can send you something in the mail? Yes, and I, and I didn't receive anything in the mail, so I, I would like to hear back. Well, I will send an email to Officer Goodchild, Detective Goodchild there, and uh, and we'll make sure that whatever the answer is, it gets out to you. I'm sure it, it meant to, or it did, and didn't get there. Is it 75 Leverage Street that you're using? Yep, that's the one. Well, that's not your legal address, is it? No, am I under investigation, Jason? Well, anytime you apply for a pistol permit application, you certainly are under investigation, aren't you? At this, mo at this moment, am I under investigation? If you lie on your pistol permit application, you can be subject to um, unsworn falsification, right? I, I'm looking for an answer regarding my concealed carry license, and so how can I get that I answer, know, Jason? I don't know the answer. I'd have to have, have Detective Goodchild um, look into that. He's not here that I know of right now. I have to go find him. Okay, because I'm, I'm not... I'm, I'm here to ask questions today. I'm, I'm calling to ask questions today. Oh, okay. It's only, it's only when you want to do I'm, I'm asking questions, yes. Oh, okay. Then I guess we're done, Derek. Okay, well, I hope you have a great right. day, Jason. And my premiere of the Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree is going to be tomorrow. Tickets are free, and you're featured in the film, so I hope you'll attend. It's at 945, and you are a VIP, so please come. At Keen Cinemas. Hello? Oh, he hung up. Look, he's not there anymore. Oh, well. I hope he got his invitation. I did put it uh, in his mailbox yesterday, or I had the secretary do that. So, this is just a whole big mess. I, I really don't like all this uh, nonsense about the concealed carry license. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll do my best.